Okay. All right. So um, as far as the different classes go, okay. So let's uh, let's look at this. All right. So we've got uh, our stock classes. We've got our improved classes, and we've got our mod classes, right? Mods. The mods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So maybe just explain pretty quickly, like what what are the differences? Like, I mean, stock. Stocks. Stock. Stock. You can't like yep. you literally can't do anything to the snow though. You can clutch, Bra- bracing, and bracing. Bra- yeah. So braces and clutching. Yeah, like rail braces and okay. stuff like that. But it's yeah, I mean it's pretty much OEM, right out of the, right out of the crates. Okay. So. Okay, and then you've got improved. So. All horsepower. So it has to maintain OEM chassis. Okay. But still NA, no turbos, but just raw horsepower. So build the motors. Okay. You can change your shocks. Yeah. Suspension work. Okay. Like, so you can do that in like the improved. Yep. Chassis overall has to maintain OEM, yeah. you know, stock skids, stuff like that. Yep. Okay. And then the mod is like no boundaries there. All bets are off, pretty, pretty much. much. I think the only rule is you can't really run nitrous and a turbo together. But, okay. I mean, there's a few little things, you know, you still got to have a snow belt at the end of the day and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's where your big turbos, big bores, straight nitrous. Yeah. You know, lightweight everything, no tanks, just seats on tunnels, lightweight hoods, billet yeah. everything. It's, everything. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's where the cool stuff comes out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, those are the expensive sleds. That's, yep. where that, that's where the money gets put into, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah. So I have, um, um, I've got, I should have pulled it up here. I'm going to have to try and use my, and we're in a, a steel building, so we'll see how good this goes. Because I pulled data. Guys, I, got, I, went, oh, yeah. I went nerdy on this. <laughs> okay? I'm excited for this one. So, yeah. um, so this is just me. Just pulling points, okay? <laughs> Trying to see if there's any story to be told, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I pulled, the, I just went off of last year. So the point totals from last season. Don't look at my points. Okay. I'm not, I'm not calling anyone out specifically here. What I was looking at is I went stock, improved, and modified. And I went by the three, the big three OEMs, Polaris, Skiddy, Articat. Okay, percentage-wise, in the stock classes, what percentage um, of points did Polaris get? 63. 63%? More than that. In stock, 78. Dang, you're good. Uh, 74%. Mm. So 74% of total points went to Polaris in stock. Let's go. Uh, 22% went to Skidoo, Skidoo and uh, 4% went to Articat. Okay, so let's bump up to Improved. Okay, any guess who percentage, what the percentage is for Polaris in Improved? <laughs> 69. I was going to say, it's probably pretty similar in Improved. 60. 60. Is it? No. Oh. It's 52%. <laughs> yeah. So 52% Polaris. Okay. 12% Skidoo. Yep. 16% Articat. Okay. Modified. Okay. Mods. How do you think those percentages shook out? Probably more even. What do you think? So yeah. we'll, we'll start with, well, since we went Polaris first all the way down, let's just do. Well, let's say 48 for Polaris. Uh, 48 for Polaris? Let's say 48. 47. 47? <laughs> 40%. Really? So 40% Polaris, uh, Skidoo 30%, and then Articat 10%. Okay, so I nerded out. I, maybe there's maybe there's nothing to nerd out about that, but I was I was just more curious, okay? Why do you think... And maybe this is common knowledge for 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 you guys, okay? But why do you think? Where'd the other twenty percent go? Um, that's a great question. Quick miscellaneous, <laughs> miscellaneous. We got links in there. Oh my goodness! 
Hey everyone, it's Trevor here. Just a quick timeout. Um, here's the spreadsheet we ran off of. We had uh, a few numbers that were a little off. Uh, as far as the arrangement in order, those were the same. It's just the percentages were um, a little off, uh, just a slight error in the, the equation that we used. Um, but as you can see, um, when we talked about the improved totals uh, in the podcast episode, uh, the number that we had was 52%. It was actually 65. Um, Skidoo was 15%. Articat was 20%. So uh, a little off in the percentages as far as the the you know the ordering goes. Nothing changed there. And then when we drop down to the modified totals, once again percentages were a little off. These were the numbers we we said in the episode. The actual percentages were 50% to Polaris, 37.5 to Skidoo, 12 and a half to Articat. That gets us to 100% um, of the top 10 finisher uh, point totals by OEM manufacturer. So just to kind of clear things up, um, I know it was a little bit confusing in the episode, but um, there are the actual numbers. Yeah, I think my uh, my calculation... My percentage calculations off. We'll give it That's why players. I don't do numbers. <laughs> I do have I do have straight numbers though. So like, uh, there were twenty. Um. Twenty. Oh, that's what I did. It was twenty. So I went top ten. Mm. So I took oh, the I took the okay. top ten. That's okay. where. Yeah. So that's where we were off. So I I didn't go through every. All the way down. All the way down. I just took the top ten. I should have preface that in the beginning um so i took the top 10 uh point totals or top 10 people top 10 finishes okay is this making sense yeah yep okay and i and then i um i took the manufacturer the oem who who placed in the top 10 so there's only going to be 10 for a class right eight of them could be players two skidoo one right does that make sense yes sir so, um, my, my, I think my calculation is just wrong on that last one, but anyways, 20 Polaris could do 15 and five Articat for mod, for the mod top 10. So, so to, to direct this question back, if we're looking at top 10 f- finishes, finishers, um, Polaris, I mean, in the stock stuff, Polaris just dominates. Okay, uh, it kind of, it doesn't really even even out much in improved, but in mods, it does even out somewhat. Is there, is there a theory for that? Um, I think uh, there's more money to be made in stock, right? So your manufacturers want to see more dominance in the OEM classes versus the mod classes, right? Yep, so that you, makes they sense can, to me. They can show their dominance, and so your, your top guys of your manufacturers are going to be pushing those stock classes hard. Yeah. Um, and, you know, perk to a racer, there's more payout in the stock classes versus mod. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And um, are there just more, like, as far as actual racers on the circuit, are there just more polar? Like, is it a numbers game that way? Or is it kind of, e- like, I would say Polaris between Polaris is more and dominant. Skidoo? Yeah, I, Polaris and Skidoo are gotta be close. They gotta be pretty close. But I would, I would think that Polaris has still got the mass majority of the racers. Yeah, with Skidoo <clears throat> close to them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well. Um. Anyways, I nerded out over that a little bit. I probably <laughs> spent a little too much time in 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 those numbers, but 